Nairobi is close to 200 kilometers northwest of where I'm standing. It's one of the vital rich oil cities in the Delta region. It's not the first time militants are staging daring attacks against security personnel in the Delta region. Last week, the newly formed Niger Delta Avengers ambushed police officers on a routine patrol. Five officers were declared missing after the attack. This time, they dared a Navy boathouse in Nwari. A statement from the army says the militants disguised as commuters were on board five boats. They struck at about 5 p.m. local time and left two soldiers and four civilian staff attached to the house dead. One soldier still unaccounted for and the others wounded. The army has been increasing deployments in the Delta region to crack down on the resurgence of militants. Repeated attacks on oil installations in the oil-rich Delta has had devastating effects on crude oil exports. Even before the rise in militant attacks, Nigeria's monolithic economy had been battered by falling crude oil price. The attacks have now reduced its output from over 2 million barrels per day to 1.4 million. President Muhammadu Buhari has made it clear he will not negotiate as long as the attacks continue. He has been beefing up security in the region. He warned all pipeline vandals and militants will be handled as terrorists. But yesterday he had to terminate his trip to the region on short notice amid threats of more attacks from the militants. Kelechi Mekalam, CCTV, Port Harcourt, Nigeria.